Hi everybody, we're going to use um, filter sterilization today, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a pretty clean area. So I'm going to go ahead and just ethanol off my bench really quickly using 70% ethanol. Um, when you're filter sterilizing, generally you're trying to sterilize something, but you don't want to use an autoclave or heat to do it because autoclave or heat is going to break it down. So um, you do this a lot when you're using antibiotics. Um, as I said, the first thing that you're going to do is clean off your area. I'm going to go ahead and get a tube rack there. This is the solution that I'm going to try to sterilize. This is the tube that it's going to go into. Um, I'm going to need a syringe. Um, and just make sure that your syringe can hold appropriate volume. And then the selection of the filter is probably the most important part of this whole thing. And what you're going to want to make sure is that you need to know what you're trying to filter out. So in this situation, I'm trying to filter out bacteria, which is generally around one micron. So I'm using a 0.22 micron filter. So you can see 0.22 micrometer filter. Um, that's, again, one of the most important aspects of this. So this can get a touch messy, so you have to be a little careful. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open okay um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the bottom here then with my other hand I'm gonna unscrew this and pour it in all right um, then here's kind of the tricky part I have to put this in, but if I put this in too hard right now, it's going to blow the solution out on my thumb. So I'm just going to kind of wedge it in there just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to invert the whole thing. Okay. And then I'm going to remove the air and push the syringe down and the volume of liquid up to the top of the syringe. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put my filter sterilizer on the tip here. Um, and I'm going to avoid touching this tip. Anything kind of below the filter I can touch. Anything above the filter is going to be sterile, so I'm going to really want to be careful with. So I'm going to take this tube. I'm going to make sure that I put my cap upside down so that none of the inside of it comes in contact with the ground. And then I'm going to hold this filter like this and push. and different filters require different amounts of strength so you can actually these can actually be pretty tough um, this method actually works pretty well for me I usually have to take a few breaks while I'm doing it Okay, there we go. We're done. I don't care about this anymore. Again, I'm going to be really careful not to touch the tip of this or the inside tip of this. And now I have my filter sterilized solution in this. Um, you can, if you want to, use a flame while you're doing this to keep an updraft. Um, I'm not super concerned about it. This is ampicillin. So it's gonna pretty much kill most of the bacteria or anything it comes in contact with anyway. Um, that's it.